been a while since I had to do one of these and I'm not happy about it, but part of boat ownership. I gotta, I gotta fix my, my motor. Trim and tilt, shit the bed. I don't know exactly what's wrong. Um, it was squealing a little bit, but working. That was kind of the first sign I should have just stopped and like figured out then what the problem was, but instead I just kept using it until it quit working. Um, the engine squeals like it's trying, but there ain't no movement. So it could be a, quite a few things. I already tried putting a little um, hydraulic fluid in there and uh, that didn't seem to do shit. Um, so I'm just gonna take it off of the boat. I think that should be fairly simple procedure. I remember on my 75 horsepower, I had to take the motor off the boat in order to get the trim and tilt off the, off the motor. Um, but I think for this one, the shape and size will allow me to take it off without removing the motor from the boat. So um, that's my hope anyway. I really, 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 really hope that's possible. We're gonna find out today. Disconnect power, remove the zinc anode, and then remove the trilo pins. Y'all know what I'm doing now, don't you? That's right. The power tilt and trim is not working, and I don't know why. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna take it off and try to diagnose it. Got power. not moving I filled it with uh, fluid I opened it up refilled it with fluid and that didn't do anything so <sighs> here we go so first things first I gotta get this tilted up you'll see down in here there's a um, a um, manual release so if I loosen that up So, just a little bit. Then now I should be able to move it on my own. And when I get it up, there's a lock right here that I just move up all the engines up to hold it into place. I'm um, supposedly you can turn this, but it doesn't really work very well. Um, this thing's heavy as shit though. So now the fun part. This thing is really fucking heavy. I did it, I did it once. So this is interesting. Okay, I got my lock up here, which isn't perfect. Um, it'll still slide like that, but it seems to have some, some grip in there. So I couldn't lift it anymore by myself until I pushed um, until I motored up, until I trimmed up here. When I trimmed up, it made it looser to where I could move it manually again. It's still heavy, but not impossible. Like, four. Here, I'll show you. Let's see if you can see from this angle. Now that I just did some more, gave some more juice up. Nothing's moving, but something's happening because now I can 
lift more. See that? <sighs> so weird. I can like help it. Well, I'm moving. It. Yeah, I really think this thing just gonna need some new seals. Power works and everything else. Cool. So if we look here, there's a lot of liquid down here. Hydraulic fluid. Now I spilt some out when I took this apart a while ago, a few days ago, a week ago, yeah, over a week ago. Um, and it's rained and shit since then, and this looks fresh. So I have a feeling this thing's just leaking, right? Um, so to take it apart, I need to disconnect the power first, which would be this here. I'll probably just have to disconnect the whole battery instead of trying to figure out where that goes. Yeah. So we're gonna do that first. Oh, here's a familiar view. Oh, digging this shit out. It used to be a lot harder though, when before I cut all this off. Fucking batteries, why are they so goddamn heavy? Awkward to move around. All right, so we're just gonna disconnect the power for now to everything. I need to put some corrosion X on these motherfuckers. These are rusted solid shit. I'll tell y'all what, man. I usually love working on my boat. I got a great space for it. Right on the weekends, I can just pull it right over there. Right there. Just park it right across the street there in that school parking lot. Have myself a little day project, drink myself a beer after some success. Really is a nice time, but I got this Elden Ring game. It's so fucking addicting. It's all I can think about right now. And really making me making this more work than fun, like usual. Maybe we should just get rid of video games. Anyway, out here in the shed, get some degreaser and some corrosion X for this. Batteries, connectors, and a little DB blaster to help. I'm not sure how smart it is to put that on battery connections. Um, we will try anyway. I almost forgot, and it's probably not a huge deal if you don't, but you should probably tighten this manual at least back up once you get. Um, the motor lifted up otherwise it's just a little extra security and keeping it up there i'm gonna have to get some new of these things too all right that feels pretty tight should be good all right i'm just gonna spray these guys down with a little first some db bla pb blaster this helps get rid of rust just let that soak for a little bit and then um, after that soaks, I hit it with some corrosion X both before I try to take them off and after just to help whatever the hell this does. Kills rust corrosion, lubricant, penetrant, anti seize, all of this like some magic shit for electronics. Not sure if you're supposed to mix that with PV Blaster or not, but. Out. Come on, you son of a bitch. I think 
I might need to go get my socket wrench. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking or where I even got these bolts. They're probably not meant for this. All right, battery power's off. Good. Okay, so the next step is the tri lobe pins. There's one here, one here, up here, one up here. Gotta get those two out. And that should be the bulk of the work. Um, I think I'm supposed to take this off too, but it's not blocking access to anything. The video I watched was blocking access, so I might not even, so I might not even need to take that thing off the zinc, zinc iode, but it is connected here. So it might be easiest just to take it off with it. Yeah, probably do it anyway, just to be safe. Oh, wow, it is just, pulling right out. Look at that. Just pull, pulled right out that far. I guess I'm gonna have to work it the rest of the way, but I thought that was gonna be a lot harder. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Not really a good angle for this. smaller screwdriver to get under here or one of those little mini crowbars you know what I'm talking about I don't think I have one of those though so. hey there we go that's out now the bottom one Hopefully this is just as easy. Nope. Damn it. That was better. Easy enough. There's the bottom pin, the long one. Well, that doesn't seem to want to punch. Yeah, this one's moving easier. What was that noise? What just rolled? Oh, it seems to have hit a block here. Ah. Take a break from all that hammering and see if I can get the power removed from this thing, because I am gonna have to get that whole switch off there. Trim and tilt is here. Should be able to just pull them apart. One, two, fuck, I'm gonna break it either. It's always something, ain't it? These little guys, their end caps don't want to fit through this hole. <laughs> There's no other place to disconnect. That's where they gotta go. I gotta get them through there. But this hole is so tiny. Right here, this rubber one. They don't want to come through it. So, fun. I was thinking maybe if I try to do them one at a time, it'd fit better. But even then, not easy to pull off. Oh my god. Some bullshit. How'd they even get them through in the first place? Fucking Christ. Ugh. What the fuck, man? Oh, there's one. Two. Got them. Got them bastards through. It's amazing how some of these bolts and stuff. Just like, come right off, no problem, like they were put on yesterday. But then other ones are a goddamn nightmare. Now I gotta get these suckers off.
This is the zinc, zinc diode, or anode or whatever. I'm not sure what it does again. I know that it, it, it's here. I know there's a couple other places you can find them, I believe. Um, but there's always one right here under the uh, power trim and tilt. And it, yeah, somehow it makes like, the, it's safer to have electronics out there. It keeps corrosion from happening. Um, I don't understand the science of it, but pretty interesting. These are on all boats. When they start to get out of shape, you gotta replace them. Um, they don't, I don't think they're too expensive though. So, all right, so we're almost there. A couple more bolts, let's see. So I need to get this one out. I need to punch this one out through, through here. Somehow I gotta punch that out and then finish punching this one, which got a little over halfway and then decided it wanted to be um, more challenging to get the rest of the way. And then I should be able to just pull this sucker out after that. That should be all there is to it. All right, so taking all this shit inside, I don't need any more. Um, I gotta figure out something for punching those two bolts out. Um, I might YouTube it, see what some of the DMCs online say. But for now, I'm gonna put these things in a safe place. Um, I should go back on my boat though where I had it. The, so this is the bottom pin here. Top pin, look at this. Pretty damn bent. And that's not for me. That's just how it was. I took it out. Isn't that weird? I didn't even have to force it. It came out really easy. Um, then the diode, the anode, whatever. Then the bolts for the anode with the O-rings. All that's gonna stay somewhere where I won't lose it. Um, I don't know where that is yet. Up here aces, looking at hammers and shit, and I think I'm gonna get this big punch and this three pound drilling hammer. Not sure exactly what a drilling hammer is, but it's heavy as hell. And uh, I don't think any of that'll do. I wish the punch was longer. They've got these long files I thought about using, but I'm not sure. But these are the punches and they're all just the same shortness. I just wish it was really long. <sighs> this should work though. I'm gonna start with this top one. It, it was moving good. If I can get it done, that'll be some success. And then I got the big one at the bottom. It's gonna be a little more work, I think. Is it moving? It feels like it's moving. Now I gotta try and get this bottom one. Yeah, this bottom one wasn't budging at all earlier. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to move now. to do I need to get this last pin out to get it out of there I need to lower my motor I gotta lower my motor to put it back in storage I gotta have it out of here before tomorrow <laughs> if I don't get it off of there I don't know how I'm gonna I guess I could maybe this will go all the way down yeah I guess I could do that and lower the motor some but I'm scared without that holding the weight up is it gonna just drop 
how heavy is it? You know? <sighs> Fuck, man. At times like these, I feel like I probably should have just taken it into the shop, but God knows how long that would take. Or cost. Fuck, man. I don't know what to do. I guess I could pull it up to my house and put the heat gun on it for a little while. Fuck. Alright, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna take a break. <clears throat> well, this, well, this sucks. I gotta find some way to... I can't... I gotta take this back to my, um storage. I can't leave it in this school parking lot. Tomorrow's Monday, so I can't store it in my storage up like this either. The guy has me, it has to be trimmed down to fit in my space. So what I think I'm going to do is move this guy down here and then I'm going to put this block of wood about right here and close the motor on it and then I will um, strap the motor tight so that it doesn't bounce around and let the wood out. That should keep it off enough, off the ground enough to not scrape. Um, I don't have my tripod here, so I'm just gonna do it and show you the end result if it works. That seemed to work. Um, it's amazing how uh, easy this thing is to lift up and down when it's not, you know, being held by hydraulic fluid. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna strap around here really tight so that it doesn't bounce because if it bounces, that wood will fall out it's going to scrape the ground so i think we're good here all right i think we're good here um this strap is on real tight around hold the blue wood block here so this can't pull up at all good well i want to talk about how much that sucks and it's irritating and all that but really it's just part of this game if you're going to buy a boat especially an older one it's just what happens. I made it a long time with that engine without having to dump a bunch of money into it. Um, I'll probably make it much longer. It's a trim and tilt. Could be worse now. It's not a cheap part to replace, but hopefully I can fix the one I have. Um, hopefully. Um, if not, then, well, then not. Um, there's a place that says it can rebuild them for like 500 bucks or something. Uh, so I can either try to rebuild it myself or just ship it to them. And they that handles the the see that handles all the parts they use into everything. So I'll probably do that. But um made some progress today. Everything's out except that one that one bolt at the bottom. Um I haven't figured out how I'm gonna handle that yet though. So I'll find uh I'll find a tool or somebody else's tool. Some, I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm not gonna think about that tonight. All I'm gonna think about is we made progress. Um, minor, minor inconvenience. I'm gonna be off the water for a little bit. So, all good. All right, it's been a, been a few days, it's been a week. Back at it to try again, get this last bolt out. Um, I got picked up some more shit from Lowe's. So maybe one of these bigger punches or things that I got to help us get it out. But we're gonna do some DB blaster, and some heat. I'm really trying to get this thing primed up and ready to fucking bang out. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> 